Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I thought that I would do a video just showing you some presents that my four year old got for his birthday and also for Christmas which was just before. So if you are looking for a four year old birthday present ideas then I hope this video helps you in some way. So the first thing for a four year old are these Lancacade animals or figurines. They do absolutely everything. So any animal that you want. Arthur loves uh, some of these, which are mythical creatures. They also do ones for sort of you know, seasonal ones like events. But yeah, you can do loads of different things with them. Um, you know, like small world play. Arthur likes them in his tough trays or just playing with them doing different scenes. Yeah, but they're really lovely and really nice quality. So those are also some animals that he likes too. And just figurines in general, I think they are brilliant for a four-year-old, so that's a really good present. Arthur loves these Gruffalo ones. And again, it's just, they can use their imagination and do what they want with them, but obviously just play with them as they are. Um, and in a minute, there you go, I show you some, uh, this is what Arthur does, we set up like a little Gruffalo sort of scene um, which he really enjoyed doing and obviously you can read the book with those as well but they're really good quality actually so I would recommend them then there's this make here they so they do all these different tubes or tubes um loads and loads of different ones so we've got a space one and I bought that basically to do this with it which is to create these play trays so that's just rice which has been dyed I have done it myself but I actually bought that one I cheated just <laughs> to, to be easy and quick but yeah that's so that's what you can use figurines for and that'll keep them busy and then we've also bought him some animals which he absolutely loves and we've been using them in play trays as well he actually wanted all the animals from dear zoo so that is why we had that lion there and then I would say, so recently he's become quite into superheroes. So you can get those from um, Busy Books, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I think superheroes are good. Again, I know it's more figurines, but like literally that is one of his sort of top played with toys. Um, so these are the Busy Books. So they're fairly cheap and it's just a really, well, quite a cheap way to get figurines because if you look for you know Beauty and the Beast figurines they're quite expensive but if you buy this book they're maybe £10 you might get them for cheaper on Amazon just keep your eye out but there's loads and loads of them there's lots of Disney ones uh, we've got the Marvel Avengers one there which you can see I think what else has he got he's got Little Mermaid um, he's got a Peter Rabbit one <laughs> There, it's just loads. So any sort of characters you can think of, there probably is a busy book for them. So yeah, you get 10 figurines. And then it's like a sort of a short story usually. It's not the full story. So that's not like the full story of Beauty and the Beast. And then you also get a play mat, which is sort of like the scenes. So he maybe doesn't always play with that. We don't always read the book and they're quite bulky. But they do make a really nice present. So if you're buying that as a gift for a child that's about to turn four or you know even a bit younger that because I think Arthur first had one of those when he was about two or something um I think they just make a really nice gift because it's sort of all in there a book play mat figurines I think it just makes a really nice present so yeah I would definitely recommend those and then you can also buy your own um sorry but buy like a pre-made or pre-put together like play tray so that was a play-doh one that we got from etsy and then this is a pirate one um you know and I, I make my own as i said but it can it can cost quite a lot by the time you buy all these different bits we just thought we would just buy one so this is a pirate one that we got from etsy they are on instagram as well i realized after and it's just brilliant and it's just really good for independent play he will just sit and play with that for ages Books are obviously something which is really good and also uh, like we call them fact books but like encyclopedias obviously they're getting a bit older now Arthur is really keen on learning he is loving this book which talks about ancient Egypt but yeah he loves learning about space that's kind of where he's learned about that about weather like he loves thunder and lightning and learning how that is made and I think they're just sort of the age now where they are able to understand a bit more and understand a bit more about the world so sort of fact books I would really recommend and obviously storybooks as well so we he nearly has all of the Julia Donaldson and Axel is it Schiffer or Schiffer books um he didn't have this one so we bought a couple of those for his birthday and then also this was actually one that we saw in a cafe I also really enjoyed it it's actually sort of a next it's almost it sort of relates to Jack and the Beanstalk basically um so I also really liked that so I did buy that one for him just from eBay as well it's only a few pounds 
these are really really good these sort of pop-up play sets so this is obviously um room on the broom and i think i think they did have the gruffalo as well so it's but basically it's like cardboard sort of cut out and you just sort of fix it all together and then you can use this sort of packaging as the scene if you like so so i guess again it is basically more figurines <laughs> but yeah here you go that's what it looks like they've got lots of different ones i think there was a farmyard one so it's not all just about um like storybooks there are sort of more generic generic or general ones too but they're really good um arthur just loves taking them off the broomstick and just making up stories with them um and they're you know i did obviously have to help him put, put them together but he does take them apart and put them together himself Puzzles are also a really good present for four-year-olds. This is actually one that's a hundred and something pieces. So obviously I did help him, but it's really nice. So some to toys are good for independent play. This is really good for us to do together and just sort of have a bit of quality time putting this together. Then I really wanted something active. We've never had room for, you know, one of those like pickler triangles. We've never had a balance board. But I really wanted something where he could just do something physical. So step into stones are brilliant. You can obviously use them outside as well. We've just put them in our hallway. So if you haven't got much space, consider these. This pack, you had 11, which was great as well. They all fold up, um, sort of stack on top. Then sticker books are another good present for a four-year-old. These ones are, have also got some activities in as well. And then this ocean one has um, sort of facts in it. So he was quite like that. He loves ocean and sea life, under the sea stuff. So that's good as well because he can learn as well. But yeah, these sort of Julia Donaldson ones, they've got dot to dot. So you can practice drawing, practice handwriting too and numbers. So they're learning as they're playing and he'll just be kept busy for quite a long time and again it's something that you can just sort of sit and do by himself like when I'm feeding the baby he'll just sit there this is what he was doing then um, I also bought him just some sheets of stickers and he'll just be happy sitting there and just like making his own little pictures out of stickers and they're just really cheap um, and I think sticker books make a really nice gift as well then I think they're coming to the age probably where he's his crafting and like putting things together is sort of progressing I suppose this is quite involved, I would say, this particular set. So it's definitely something, obviously, we re it was quite hard for us to do, actually. <laughs> it's quite a lot to it. We haven't even done all of it yet. Um, but it was really good. You can get lots of different things. And then this clay one, too. So this is like the clay that dries hard. So he really enjoyed us doing that. It is, it says it's easy. I mean, it's quite tricky, um, even for us. My husband made him a gruffalo from this set. Obviously, you can just do what you like. And then I thought I would just show you this. It's something he's had for a little while. I think, I thought it was just subscription. This, I can't remember what the make is, but I have seen it on Amazon, this particular one. So I will link that and everything else below. But he loved doing that. As I said, he likes space, which he's learnt from his fact books. And that was a great set. And then toys. So he loves this Hungry Hippos, which he was bought for his fourth birthday. And then Orchard Toys, you can't really go wrong. This is Dinosaur Dick, which I think is brilliant so yeah you've just got sort of those bones in there and then you just like dig them out and if it matches your color of your dinosaur then you put it on your dinosaur and whoever sort of completes the dinosaur skeleton is the winner of the game sort of thing but yeah he really likes this one this is probably one of my favorite orchard toys I do find a lot of them are quite similar but this one is just a bit different he loves dinosaurs as well at the moment so the Shopping List Orchard Toys game, I think, is their best seller. Yeah, it says number one is their best selling one. Um, we have got ones which are really similar, though. So he actually much prefers the dinosaur one. But this one is really good, too. I mean, you can it's fine for younger children as well. Um, and he loves Guess Who. This is just a travel one. He has got the proper one. Um, but this is really handy just to take. I actually found this on eBay um, for a few pounds. But he absolutely loves that. So that's a really, really good game. I'd recommend that. And then just like Lego, um, he has got a few Lego kits, but they're quite complicated. They do fall apart, but he loves the figurines from them. But he can do really well with these blocks and just like make his own things. He's making uh, the towers from Quidditch from Harry Potter. <laughs> if any of you are Harry Potter fans, you will know what I mean. That's why he's stacking them all up in like <laughs> those separate colours. But yeah, you can just use his imagination. He absolutely loves these Lego figurines. And I think rather than buying these kits, I mean, you can try the kits as well. But I don't know if he's just slightly too young. I'm not sure. But you can obviously just buy Lego itself. Then more learning things. So he really likes these 
uh, puzzles, which are sort of like body parts. So there's one which is more about the organs, and then there is another one which is more about the skeleton and like labeling different bones, which you can see there. So he really likes that. He's interested in the human body as they are probably at this age starting to become like more aware of their body and bodies in general. And um, so, yeah, he's been really enjoying doing those puzzles. Another great learning one is a globe. He's interested in the world, knowing about different countries, just sort of knowing that they exist. So, um, yeah, he loves that one. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing that and I hope it gives you lots of ideas. If you've got any more, let me know in the comments below. And if I've missed any, I will try and put them on the screen or leave them below or something because they're probably some that I have missed out. But anyway, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.